Refugees and internally displaced persons don't drop from the skies. They are a result of the inevitable circumstance in the world we live in. With the recent rising trend in migrant crisis, just recently we had reports of about 6,000 returnees from the Nigeria Republic. As insurgency continues to leave a rising toll on the number of the IDPs, what has been done to address the plight of the internally displaced persons? Is the National Refugee Commission up to task in catering for these refugees? With the new national migration policy now in place, does the National Refugee Commission have enough mandate to step up to the humanitarian challenge thrown at these victims of circumstance? Welcome to Question Time. I'm Benga Ashiru. You can be part of this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms shown on your screen. With about 2,000 registered refugees, 1,000 asylum seekers, and 1.3 million internally displaced persons in Nigeria, does the National Refugee Commission have enough resources to provide the detention facilities needed to comfort the IDPs? Channel TV had a chat with the National Commissioner for the National Refugee Commission, Hadiza Sani Kangiwa. She laments poor funding of the National Refugee Commission, and she says a budget of 70 million naira is grossly inadequate to cater for 2,000 refugees and the 1.3 million IDPs left alone, the 1,000 asylum seekers in the country. That's talking of annually. Haji Kangiwa also explains the new national migration policy, which says is to give a better coordinated response to the growing migrant crisis in Nigeria. Adiza Sani Kangiwa, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much. Now, let me take you up on the new national migration policy. How relevant is this to the Nigerian interests? We've always had laws on, uh, on uh, various uh, aspects of the, uh, the policy, but it's the first time now that we have a blueprint and then we are all coming together as uh, various uh, uh, departments, agencies, ministries, uh, even civil society groups to now come up to say this is what we intend to do. So what impact is this going to have on Nigeria in addressing the plight of refugees, internally displaced people, and also the plight of migrants in the country? The difference it will make is that being a plan, it's now going to hold uh, uh, ministries, departments, and agencies accountable within the strategic implementation uh, plan of action there is a sector policy review committee which is like the highest uh, a ministerial body that will from time to time be reviewing the implementation of this uh, policy there's also the technical working group that will be advising this sector policy review so it's important to keep um, uh, agencies ministries and agencies accountable to keep them on their toes to from time to time to look at what we said we are going to do and how far we have gone and whether it's working or not. Looking at some of your interventionist uh, policy, uh, what have you done in addressing the plight of the recent 6,000 returnees from the Nigeria Republic? Well, like every other person, we just heard about the operation that, uh, that uh, Nigerians are being returned into the country. Unfortunately, the agencies that were transporting uh, these people back well, did not inform the Refugee Commission or many of the agencies, but nevertheless, we still sprang into action. We really wanted to know, you know the bottom of the problem. We were in contact with, the, with our embassy in Niger. We were in contact with the embassy of Niger in Nigeria to find out the true situation of things, how many people are involved, what is the matter, is it a case of reform or what the, the, the problem was. Uh, initial concern was that perhaps maybe there is a violation of some kind of international law there. And that um, majority of these uh, people actually ran away from, from the Northeast and they unfortunately did not seek asylum, seek for asylum in Niger. They found a place to stay, they did not register their presence. So there was really nothing uh, uh, UNSCR, for instance, could do for them in Niger because they, ha they are not registered. Uh, from what you said, it appears there isn't much coordination between 
the intervention agencies, the NEMA, and also uh, the National Refugee Commission. Um, why is this so? And uh, why is because you said the impact of the blueprint is to enhance a better coordination in addressing the plight of these displaced people and also some of the vulnerable set of people you've mentioned in the list. Indeed, um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, there doesn't seem to be much coordination uh, uh, on issues of internally displaced persons. But with the issue of migrants, you know, this policy, we have um, achieved a very good work practice uh, through the establishment of technical working group comprising of ministries, departments, and agencies that was responsible for coming up with this homegrown policy and through this technical working group, we have really developed some very good practice. The Refugee Commission is not interested in taking leadership uh, of uh, coordination of uh, internally displaced persons. We are interested in having a framework. We don't care whether it's NEMA that will lead it or whoever that will lead it, but what we do care is that we, we must have a blueprint, we must have a coordination in the country. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms shown on your screen. With the signing of the Kampala Convention by African leaders in 2009, the depositing of the legal instruments of the United Nations Convention in 1951, and the OAU Convention on Refugees in 1969, how relevant are these conventions to Nigeria's national interest? Find out in our next discussion with the National Commissioner, National Refugee Commission, Hadizak Sani Kangiwa, join us again. It's a dynamic industry out there. News, events, personality profiles, and so much more to keep up with. Don't let events pass you by. I don't know any nominee. Be the one who knows what who entertainment news husband, and channel star vision for the latest celebrity news, an express pass to the A-list event, a trip behind the director's camera.